Hello, everybody. I'm Steve Davis. I'm CEO and lead consultant at Real Wealth Academy. That's GetRealWealth.com. And today I want to share with you a tool to help you get past procrastination. Um, I want to give credit to Tim Urban, who in 2013 laid this out. Unfortunately, I only got it about a week ago. And I've used this technique for 30 plus years. And I tried to explain it over and over again until I came across, and it's, you'll have a link below this video to go watch it, until I came across this TED Talk by Tim Urban. He says it so clearly and in such a fun manner that I want to kind of share with you some of the points that I used throughout my 30 years and how they fit in with his concept of the instantaneous gratification monkey and the panic monster and how they work together, one to destroy your life and one to give you the life that you really want. Uh, the first thing you've got to understand in this first slide is that this is the thief of your life and leads to massive regret. Bottom line, procrastination is what destroys people's lives. Here is a tool to help you get past that. You have to first understand that there are three distinct creatures in your head that direct you. There's the rational thinker, and I used Einstein here because they proved that his brain was no larger than anybody else's. You've got the same capability that he does. You may not have the desire for knowledge that he has, but I just wanna make sure that every one of us knows that there's an Einstein in every one of us, including you. Then the instantaneous gratification monkey is in there and the panic monster. And we're going to talk about first, guess who your best friend is? Out of the three, guess who your best friend is? Most people get this wrong. The panic monster is your best friend to get out of procrastination. Now, guess who your worst enemy is? A lot of people get this one right. It's the instantaneous gratification monkey. He's your worst in enemy. He's the one that distracts you. He's the one that keeps you on your cell phone for hours a day. He's the one that keeps you watching TV for hours a day or sports or things like that. When you're not in the financial position you wanna be in, you wanna change it, but instantaneous gratification monkey pushes you to things that will never ever give you the results from your life that you want. So you need the panic monster on your team. So let's talk about why. It's a little thing called dopamine. And what Facebook, Twitter, and the social media have done is they figured out how to get you a dopamine drip. Why do you spend time on Facebook? Why do you spend time on Twitter? Because you get a response. You get a nice little comment. Somebody says, ooh, your dinner looks beautiful. Wow, you guys are awesome. And your body gives you a reward, a little dopamine. So you get addicted to it. And remember that dopamine is a drug. Even though it's produced in your body, it's still a drug. And it's very highly addictive. Good news though, if you get your body to release dopamine when you're doing the right things in your life, you can use it as a tool to motivate yourself to do the right things. We'll talk about that more in a moment. But the instantaneous monkey already knows what you love. It may be video games. It may be Facebook. It may be Twitter. It may be sports. Sports is a big dopamine release event. And that's why people get addicted to sports. So think about this. Have you ever put off doing something until the last minute? This could be the most common is you are in college or high school or you're in school and you got a report due and you got three months to do it, a year to do it. And what you do is you lay out, I'm going to do a little work each month until it's done. But then your good buddy, instantaneous gratification monkey, comes into play. A pretty girl calls. 
a handsome guy calls. You go spend time with them. Your phone rings. A sports event is coming up. And suddenly, the three months that you had to finish the product is now down to one month. You blew two months. You just put it off. Instantaneous gratification monkey controlled you for those two months. And you did everything but work on the report. But you commit. I've only got a month left. I'm going to work hard this month and get that report done. Two weeks later, you've done nothing. Three weeks later, you've done nothing. Ever experienced this? It's like some of you have listened to my radio show for years and you've said, I'm going to do something about my financial position. But instantaneous gratification monkey kept you doing other things. But then there was a deadline and you got it done at the last minute. Who do you have to thank for that? You got it. The monster solved the problem. Panic monster came into play and said, whoa, you got 48 hours to finish this. And somehow, miraculously, you finished it in 48 hours. So let's ask this. Why are you not in the financial position that you want to be in already? You can blame it on our little buddy. You have no deadline. See, what Tim Urban brings up is that there's two types of, if you will, procrastination. There's procrastination with a deadline and the panic monster helps you with that because you have a deadline. But what about goals like being in shape? What about goals like changing your financial position? You don't have a deadline. So the panic monster stays asleep and you take no action for years, some people decades, some people for a lifetime, and they live with massive regret when they turn 70 or 80. So the problem is with these goals, fitness, getting yourself into the better financial position, it's impossible to determine a real deadline. So what you have to do, you have to make one up and get the panic monster on your team. You got to make one up. For me, and I don't know why this number hit me so hard, it was 40. I wanted to be financially independent, a multimillionaire by 40. It just, when I was 27, that number 40 scared me financially. So I had this weird deadline, totally imaginary, but I had it. And it was so strong that I was able to achieve that goal by 30 because the panic monster was in my face every single day. And I got it done at 30. I actually retired in 30, at 30 for six months, hated it, went back to work. But what this is called is having a goal. Remember, a goal without a deadline is just a wish or a dream. The power or the tool that I'm giving you is this. Write down your goals and put a deadline on them. Get that panic monster on your team. You need this guy working for you 24 seven if you're ever gonna change your life. Now, below, you've got a link to Tim Ur Urban's website. For seven bucks, you can go there and get three different PDFs on procrastination and they are phenomenal. So I highly recommend if you wanna study this more and get this in your head so that you do take action, click the link below, go see Tim, and I have no financial benefit from doing this. I'm just telling you, I did it. It helped me tremendously, and I highly recommend you do it as well. All right, thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day. <laughs>